Greetings guys and gals, this is Jabbok bringing you the best in esports. Today we have StarCraft 2, the CSL. This is going to be CSU versus CU. Rivalry match, set 3. It's all tied up 1 to 1. And I hope you guys like the new th thing I'm doing, I guess, as I'm uh, starting it at the loading screen. Just so then you guys can see who's playing and what is what. At the bottom positions on Warzone, we have Aldrovandi. <laughs> as the orange protest player and at the left hand side we have Nam San <laughs> as the red zerg at the top left we have Riptide as the teal zerg for CSU and at the top right for CSU we have Project Fox as the purple Terran this is going to be on Warzone as I said before really fun map to play one of the maps I actually do like in 2v2 matchups a ZVT uh, and, I mean a Z and T versus a Z and P. This is going to be very, very interesting. Looks like no real cheese going out for either player. Oh, whoa, really early pool it looks like from one of the Zerg players. Uh-oh, where is that? That was like a 9 pool or 8 pool or something like that. Very, very early pool. Looks like the CU team is going to go for some early pressure. Meanwhile, we don't have a pool from Riptide. This could possibly be bad, but there are very long distances to each base. Well, I wouldn't say very long, but longer distances to the bases. And so it's possible that uh, CSU is going to be able to defend this. They need to definitely get speed. Riptide definitely needs to get speed. And uh, if he's going to have to deal with this, because I believe that they're just going to go for pretty much an all-in rush attack. I'm assuming that Metabolic Boost is going to be upgraded sometime in the near future. Actually, not really making Zergling, so maybe that's just for some defense or something, because usually he would have saved his Larva for something um, along those lines. But the SCV does scout, does scout that... Um, that spawning pool is already up. Hopefully he knows the timing on that and tells the other Zerg player. Accordingly, Zerg is definitely what you want to have in a 2v2 matchup. If you don't have a Zerg, um, it's, it's, it, if they have a Zerg and you don't have a Zerg, it's a little bit harder, especially if they rush. Uh, in the later game, I think that PVT or P and T are better. Protoss and Terran are a little bit better. But in the early game, Zerg cannot be beat. Zerg are actually, in my opinion, a little bit overpowered. But I'm not going to comp complain about it because I play 1v1. So it doesn't really affect me too much. Not using that mule probably to get a mule. Unless he's saving it for something else. But ooh, use a mule right there. That'd be good. Um, Zergling's now out for the Zerg player. Riptide going to be able to possibly pick off this drone. The queen's definitely going to be able to pick that off. Boom! Dies. And uh, Probe gets in there. Probe sees that there are Zerglings amassed at the front door. And it looks like this uh, Protoss player, the orange Protoss player, not really using his Chrono Boost to the best of his ability. Um, that could be possibly because he's saving it for something. Um, I have no idea. And he's not really consistently making uh, probes either, which is kind of Goofy, uh, but at the same, well, are they all making? I don't know. Um, he's not. Yeah, he's not really consistently making probes, and I wonder why that is. That's kind of goofy there. As so we see, the red zerg has taken the right zelnaga watchtower. This zelnaga watchtower is still open, but one zergling is not going to be able to retake that zelnaga watchtower. Zerglings now with speed in the base, and uh, it looks like they're going to try to do some harassment to the Terran player over here. Uh, which they are going to be able to do, going to be able to get in the middle line, going to be able to pick off, not one FCV, barely, barely, barely got in that, ex uh, not the extractor, in that refinery, doing a very nice job, going to be able to kill off the SCV that was making that barracks, and one Marine might get picked off, but no, the Marine survives, but here comes a big push from the uh, CSU team up to the base of Riptide, this could be absolutely terrible, just everything going in here, and meanwhile, while they were tagging with about two Zerglings, the whole entire force comes in from CU, and and this could possibly be game. This is going to be absolutely terrible. More Zerglings streaming. They don't have speed. As I said before, speed's definitely a critical thing that you need to have. And just so many speed things. Not going to be able to deal with this, I believe. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to be GG. So we're going to have to go on to the next set to see if CSU can tie it up. I mean, there's almost no way that uh, these two players are going to be able to take this game. Unfortunately, this hatch is going to go down. The queen is going to be absolutely just ransacked once it gets out like that. Ouch. Um, so, yeah, just really, um, I don't know if they really knew the timing of this spawning pool, but if they did, 
probably my suggestion would just go for mass lings or uh, and like marauders marines something like that but really in 2v2 you it's not as quote unquote balanced I know I hate talking about balancing but it's not quote unquote as balanced and it's hard to know which build to go unfortunately because uh, you it's just a whole another game and that's why I think they got rid of it in the pro league a few years back but anyways we're just waiting for the GG here um, and that's about it. GG from Reptide and Project Fox. So see it. See you goes up two to one on CSU. Lates.